Charlie Sheen. You're with a winner. Martin Sheen. What you see is a guy who never measured a man's success by the size of his what? Wall Street Money Machine. Guy just looking for 50,000 Kanye. What do you got for me? I'm Peter Villegas, and this is Money in the Movies. Hello and welcome to Money in the Movies, a show where we review films based on their financial accuracy. Today's movie is the financial classic Wall Street, directed by Oliver Stone and starring Charlie Sheen, Martin Sheen, and Michael Douglas as the stone-cold Wall Street speculator, Gordon Gekko. Greed, for lack of a better word, is good. The film chronicles the story of young Bud Fox, played by Charlie Sheen. Bud Fox is a stockbroker at a firm, and he's stuck doing the dreary cold calling that plagues all young brokers. Mr. Harrison, I don't know if you're aware of this or not, but if I could just have five minutes of your time, I thought you were a gentleman. Fox's goal, however, is to land that one big account that will make him a lot of money quickly. He sets his sights on Wall Street legend Gordon Gecko, and after countless tries, he finally secures a quick meeting with Gecko to pitch him some stocks. This is the kid. Calls me 59 days in a row, wants to be a player. But Gecko doesn't really like what Bud is selling. It's a dog. Not bad for a quant, but that's a dog with different fleas. Come on, pal, tell me something I don't know. It's my birthday. Surprise me. At this point in the film, which by the way is an awesome point in the film, Bud finds himself at a crossroads. It took him months to secure a short meeting with Gordon Gecko, and he has just a few minutes to impress him. And so far, it's not going so well. So what does Bud Fox do? Well, he decides to bend the rules. He tells Gordon Gecko about a stock called Blue Star Airlines. I don't like airlines, lousy unions. Well, there was a crash last year. They just got a favorable ruling in a lawsuit that even the plaintiffs don't know about. Well, how do you know about it? I just know. The way that Bud Fox knows about the favorable court ruling for Blue Star Airlines is from this scene, where Fox and his father, played by Hollywood legend Martin Sheen, share a beer. Fox's father is a mechanic for Blue Star Airlines, and he knows about the ruling before anyone else. He tells his son about it. Gordon Gecko is impressed by Bud Fox's willingness to break the rules, and he brings the young stockbroker under his wing, and he shows him the lucrative but illegal world of insider trading. Wake up, will you, pal? If you're not inside, you are outside, okay? The Securities Exchange Acts of 1933 and 1934 were the government's answer to the stock market crash of 1929. Both acts tightened regulation of the stock market, but it was the 1934 act that prohibited the practice of insider trading. Insider trading comes in two forms, the legal kind and the illegal kind. The legal form of insider trading happens when a company insider, like the CEO or the president, buys or sells stock of the company that she works for, as long as she discloses that she is doing this up front and doing so with information known to the public, then it is completely legal. The illegal form of insider trading happens when someone, anyone, you, me, your mom, that's your mom, when anyone trades a publicly traded stock based on material, non-public information, well, that is insider trading, and it's illegal. Over the years, additional legislation has been passed to put even more pressure on insider traders, such as the Insider Trading Sanctions Act of 1984. Remember, when a company is listed on a stock market exchange, it is a public company. Public companies are simply companies where anyone can buy stock. It's open to the public. The government and the business community at large realize that in order for the public to invest in the stock market, well, the stock market must be fair for all. People can buy and sell stocks all they want, but they must trade only on information that is known to the public. In the film, Bud Fox keeps feeding Gordon Gecko inside information that he gets from following people around. Excuse me. Bud Fox even poses as a cleaning person for a company that cleans the offices 
of a large Wall Street law firm. Eventually, Bud's actions catch up with him. You're under arrest, Mr. Fox, for conspiracy to commit securities fraud and for violating the Insider Traders Sanction Act. For our purposes, this aspect of the film is correct. Using insider information to trade stocks is illegal. Section 10B-5 of the Securities and Exchange Act of 1934 contains the broad-based anti-fraud provisions the government uses to prosecute insider trading. The Insider Trading Sanctions Act of 1984 allowed the government even more power to prosecute insider traders. Though insider trading, both large and small, happens more often than anyone would want to admit, it does happen and it is illegal. For this, I give the movie three out of three dollar signs. I'm Peter Billigus, and this is Money in the Movies.